everyone and welcome to our very first tutorial on Kitchen Delights with Gilbert Ian. Before I begin, I'd like to talk about why I decided to create the segment. Now, a little bit about me. I moved into my very first apartment when I was only 20 years old. I remember thinking about two things when I moved into that apartment. I said, one day when I have my own house, I'm going to have a beautiful garden. And when I have my own house, I'm also going to learn how to bake and cook. Now, if you're like me, you're a guy who lives on his own, or you're a girl who lives on her own, you know it's time consuming to create these lavish meals for yourself. I mean, why are you going to put a lot of effort into creating food when you're living by yourself? I know not everyone is like that, but that was the case with me. So, like any bachelor, you go out and eat a lot, you spend a lot of money outside, or you create simple meals. I know how to make very basic things here. I've never made tacos, um, I might have made enchiladas one time, I mean things like that. So I've never made the effort to really try to learn how to bake and cook big meals, right? Again, I've always been on my own, so I've never really had the need to cook for anybody other than myself. But now that I'm here and I've been here for a few years, I've decided I really, really want to pursue this interest that I've had for many, many years. And so what better time than to start right now? So if you're like me and don't really have any experience in baking or cooking and you just want to learn from someone who is just like you, then this is the place to be. I'm going to find some really delicious recipes and I'm going to make them right here in front of you for the very first time. Meaning I'm not going to practice beforehand. <laughs> I'm going to do it right here with you and we're going to learn how to do these things together and if you're tired of being that one family member who shows up to parties and family gatherings with chips and soda then this is going to be the perfect place for you because I'm going to show you how to do some really great things that you can surprise your family with every time you go to a family function so that when you get there with your freshly made pastries your family will say you didn't make this and you can walk out of there with your head held high knowing that you made that all by yourself. And that's the greatest thing, right? To be able to do things and share them with others. And share them with your family and friends, right? Cooking something up in your kitchen and saying, look, I made this for you. That's one of the greatest things that you can ever do for someone. To give them something that comes from your heart and that was made with your two hands. Today we're going to make some carrot cake desserts. So stay with me as we prepare and create this really delicious dessert right here. It's happening right now. Let's roll up our sleeves because it's time to get crazy right here on Kitchen Delights with Gilbert Ian. So let's talk about the ingredients that we need for our dessert. I have broken up our ingredients into three categories. We have our wet ingredients, we have our dry ingredients and our glaze. Shredded carrots. You're going to need some unsweetened almond or coconut milk. Some applesauce that is unsweetened. You're going to need some pure maple syrup. And you're going to need some coconut oil. Now let's talk about our dry ingredients. You're going to need some oatmeal, some baking powder, some cinnamon. You're going to need some unsweetened coconut flakes, some cranberries. Now let's talk about our glaze. Some powdered sugar, some vanilla extract, and last but not least, some coconut or almond milk. Looks like we already have this ingredient. So grab your mixing bowl and your whisk because we're going to use that as well. Are you ready? Let's get started.
And here we are. Let's find out if these came out as delicious as they look. I did notice when I took them out of the oven that they still seem kind of moist in the middle. So what I did was I lowered the oven to 250 degrees and I placed them in there for another 30 minutes. Now I do have a brand new stove that I don't really use often. Um, I mean, I use it to make basic things, but I don't use it a lot. And so I'm hoping that you guys will also motivate me to really step out of my element, stop being lazy, and start making some really delicious things in here with you guys. So let's go ahead and taste these and see what they taste. So <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are so good. And you know what makes them really good? The fact that we used unsweetened coconut really balances out the flavors. Wow. So easy to make. So delicious. You need to make this. Take it to your grandma's house and say, Grandma, vamos a sentarnos a tomar café, Grandma. That's what you should do. Now, I don't know about all of you guys. I don't have a coffee addiction at all, actually. I don't really drink coffee. Sometimes I will have one coffee, but it's very, very, very rare. I'm not a fan of it. I feel like it can be addicting. And so I've always stayed away from it in all my adult life. Um, but as a kid, my grandmother used to sit me down and we used to drink coffee together. I was a kid. I think it's a Mexican thing. Uh, <laughs> we would sit down drink coffee and eat pan dulce. It's one of the most beautiful memories I have with my grandma. Um, but yeah, I think you should definitely try making these. I hope you'll join me next time. I will see you in two weeks. Thank you for coming to my very first episode of Kitchen Delights. I'll see you very soon. Bye.